Musical comedy is the fairest flower of American theater, but lately the garden has run more to leaf and stem than blossom. The show rehearsing here is the product of major musical talents, and what happens to it will probably determine how the garden grows for some time to come. The final rehearsals of a Broadway play resemble the efforts of a group of weary people to make a steam engine out of feathers. Excuse me, do you think the castle is Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, But the confusion has more purpose than appears. And professionals like Angela Lansbury and Len Cariou, who star in Sweeney Todd, the soon-to-open musical, are full of the hope that has always fueled the theater. So, too, are director Hal Prince and composer-lyricist Stephen Sondheim, whose fifth collaboration this is. As befits thoughtful men, their remarks range beyond the fate of this particular adaptation of a successful 19th-century melodrama to the future of the musical theater in which they have shed blood and shared triumph. The musical theater is in trouble. Cost is one problem. I think the money is certainly imposes a, a problem on the, on the production of theater on Broadway, not just musicals, anything. Things are costing half a million dollars that used to cost 15,000. On the other hand, uh, I don't think that's the main problem. The main problem is, is, is reassessing what it is that's unique about the theater, that you can't get on television, that you can't get in the movies. Go to your right. Stephen Sondheim has written a remarkable variety of musicals, including parts or all of such an odd assortment as A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, West Side Story, and A Little Night Music. The future of musical theater? Which direction is it going in? Oh, it's going in many directions, which is, I suppose, the health of it and also the distress of it. Yeah, I think we're exp experimenting, that's all. Certain things are no longer acceptable because they seem creaky and conventional. Things which were fresh just 15, 20 years ago. That's got to be good for an art form. You've got to think about it that way, not as commerce, even though we're on Broadway. Well, you don't think then that this is, we are seeing the last steps in the dance of the dinosaur. And I don't know. I think theater represents civilization and musicals are part of theater and maybe we are. And if so, it isn't just the musicals that are in the last, last stages, I think, if that's true. It's a black view. I'm, there are times when I think of that, yes. It is inconceivable to me, or rather, it is conceivable but too depressing to think of, that there will come a day when people will only want their stuff canned, that is to say, filmed, taped, whatever, that they don't want live people to tell them the story. I can't believe that will happen. I mean, I don't want to. Whatever the uncertainties of the creative journey, Sondheim, Prince, and its hope, a lot of us, would feel very sad in a world where, as the lights went down, an overture didn't come blaring out of the temporary twilight.